The North Carolina Lieutenant Governor and other state officials sent a White House letter about a wet hot house uh, who was arrested in the state last week. I'm wondering if... Say that, say that one more time. Oh, arrest yeah. of who? Uh, a wet hot house in North Carolina last week. I'm wondering if the White House has seen the letter um, and if you have any information about okay, it. I don't have anything to share on that particular letter. And there's a report that when President Biden was told his handling of the war between Israel and Hamas was starting to affect his poll numbers, uh, the quote is, he began to shout and swear. So when he does that, is he shouting and swearing about Netanyahu or about Hamas or about his poll numbers? This is the when did you stop beating your spouse question, because I don't think he ever did that. Um, and so, me? well, you, you use that as the premise of your question, which is when he does that. He, I've never seen him do that, shout or swear in response to that. So from my perspective, um, that uh, particular report is not correct. When will the president hold another news conference so we can ask a question of him without having helicopter noise or jet noise in the background? I don't have anything to, for you to share, obviously. The president, president as, you just say, as you were just saying, the president uh, takes questions pretty regularly, enjoys having engagement with all of you. Uh, I don't have a press conference to lay out for you at this but, time. But is, there, is there talk of one? I don't have anything for you. But as I said, the president enjoys engaging with all of you on a regular basis, and he'll continue to do that. I think I have to... Did President Biden wait so long? Why do you let 32 days pass between phone calls with Prime Minister Netanyahu? Our teams are in contact every single day at every level, and he reserves his calls for the prime minister for when he believes there's a key strategic moment that needs to come forward. That's point one. Point two, prime minister, of course, knows how to reach President Biden. If the prime minister felt he needed the president for some reason, he would have picked up the phone and called. And of course, in the last 32 days, President Biden has never declined a, a phone call from Prime Minister Netanyahu. Does the administration still have close contact with social media companies? And in specific, are there still communications about removing misinformation? Look, um, I'm going to be, I, I, I know there is a, a currently SCOTUS, well, I don't even know if it's happening right now, but there is this particular uh, Missouri case. I'm going to be super mindful, super careful, uh, and not to um, and, and not to answer a question that is, uh, uh, you know, adjacent to what's happening uh, with this particular case. Um, uh, I don't have any conversations to speak to or to lay out uh, to you about uh, conversations with social media. Obviously, uh, the president tries to communicate with Americans and meet them where they are. You see this. You see us do that. More broadly, can you talk about the administration's concerns on the kind of misinformation that's on social I mean, media? We've been, we've been, we've been, been pretty about consistent COVID. about the importance of, uh, you know, it is, it is the responsibility of social media to make sure uh, that, uh, that what is on their platform uh, is, uh, uh, you know, is not misinformation, not disinformation. We've been always very clear about that. 